everyone, my name is Brittany Garcia and I am the coordinator for student engagement and intercultural programs here at the College of Coastal Georgia and I'm going on my fifth year being here and I'm excited to be on Facebook Live with you all and I'm going to let our other co-hosts here introduce themselves. My name is Brianna Sparks, I'm an orientation leader here at Coastal Georgia and this is my second year at Coastal. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jamal with two A's, last name Brown as in the color, and I am the current assistant dean at the College of Coastal Georgia. I've been here for a few months now. So now we'd like to talk about student life. The Office of Student Life is really to support the academic mission of the college by providing different engagement opportunities, right? Through social, recreational, intellectual, and personal development. We also have some two highlighted programs that I would like to talk to you about. Homecoming, right? <laughs> Homecoming is lit. That's like one of our major programs that we have that everyone gets involved and that's engaged in that program, which we highlight our amazing basketball team. Um, in addition, we have a talent show. We have the best talent in the area that comes from the College of Coastal Georgia. So hopefully you'll be able to be a part of our community so we can showcase your talent here at the College of Coastal Georgia. Great, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what our office does. And so I work hand in hand with Jamal to do a lot of campus programming as well as diversity initiatives on campus. And so if you're looking for a way to get involved and you want some experience in entertainment or coordinating like some fun acts and bringing comedians to campus, definitely look into joining Overboard Entertainment or hanging out mm -hmm. with us and volunteering at some of our events. It's a great way for you to get involved on campus and get that experience outside of the classroom that employers are really looking for for marketable students after they graduate from college. And so some of the fun things that we do is so like we've mentioned some comedians, we bring lots of comedians during welcome week. And then I wanna mm -hmm. highlight something during our diversity and inclusion realm as well. So if you're interested in sharing your own culture or learning about other cultures, you can join any of our celebratory month committees and you can find it on our website at ccga.edu and go in there and feel free to sign up on anything that you see on our website right there. So it's very simple. We also have social media platforms, so make sure you're looking for us on Instagram and Facebook and find a way to get involved. And I'm sure Bree here is gonna be able to talk about how she's been involved on the campus and how it's been beneficial to her experience here at, the, at Coastal Georgia. Yep. So when I came to Coastal, I was very unaware of what Coastal actually had. And then once I started getting involved on campus, it was very exciting. There's so many different events that happens. Like over the summer, we did we celebrated National Cheese Day and we got treats and everything. And they do hand, um, handshakes for cupcakes. So part of Coastal's, um, part of Coastal's initiative is to help you find a job after you graduate from college. Mm -hmm. And so you can go and hand, do handshakes for cupcakes and it's, it really helps you to know like how good your handshake is or you know there are so many events on campus and there's something for everybody, always. Yeah, and it's something for everyone. Jamal, do you want to tell them about student orgs? Yep. So we have many student orgs from academic, um, through social, through diversity, um, initiatives and programs that you want to get involved with. Also, if you want to start your own club, especially if you was very active in high school, or also we have a student government where they're also looking for students to be a part of. So we have a platform here to support you through every level, wherever you want to do, right? Oh yeah. To get excited, to be engaged at the College of Coastal Georgia. Absolutely, and there's other services that we provide as well. So it's not just you know within student life here, but in the student affairs and enrollment management side, we help you through the minute you come into school and so within admissions all the way to the process to career services to getting you out and in between all that is recreation health center counseling we have dining and so like I know for us we can all kind of talk about what we like to eat in the dining hall so <laughs> I look forward to going because they've got chicken tenders and Ooh. french fries and I hear the ranch here is the best I really like it so if you like that kind of fun food definitely check out the dining hall and everything and they have dockside I know Jamal goes there like every day oh it's so awesome all the time I love dockside <laughs> <laughs> I always see him walking back with his bag so dockside is our other on-campus option for you to eat as well and so there are options for you and your um, dining plans to have an option to get that 
instead of something um, as a swipe inside the dining hall. Um, and then some of the stuff that sets Coastal apart, you know, it's a very small community and it, you really yes. feel like you can, um, you know, be an advocate for students here. I know since my time, like, being here, like, change is very able to happen in, like, larger institutions where it's very traditional already and have things set in their ways. And so students really get to be the voice of what they want to see here at the College of Coastal Georgia. And so students, you know, they drive the work that we do. So if you are looking to come to an institution and really make an impact, this is definitely the place for you because we are huge advocates for that. And that's one of the like most amazing reasons why I'm here and still here. You're not a number, you're family. Amen. That's great. Well, it looks like we have some questions. So how would you describe the students that attend the College of Coastal Georgia? Everybody's different. Like everybody has their own talents everybody has their own um, personality nobody is exactly the same and everybody has something to offer so what do you think the number one hangout is for students on campus and off campus on campus would probably be downstairs in the campus center um, uh, where the couches are and the laptop tables are it's also a good place to study because I study down there quite a bit so um, that's probably my favorite on campus and off campus would be the, the beach everybody loves going to the beach and I mean I'd leave class and everybody would be like oh um, are you going to the beach like you know which beach are y'all going to and um, that's that's a favorite yeah, and so an off-campus perk that you all get as a student at the College of Coastal Georgia is you get to go to Jekyll Island for free. So it costs $6 to go on, but as a student at the college, you can get on for free as long as you're enrolled in fall or spring semester. So it goes by semester. So that's a fun thing to do. Students mm -hmm. really like to go there. There's a lot of sea turtles there. There's Driftwood Beach, um, lots of good places to eat. And then I know a lot of students also like to hang out on St. Simons. And so if you're really, you know, looking for some good kind of like food that's kind of off the you know, chain, we call it franchises, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. national chains and stuff, you can definitely go there and have some really good, like, barbecue or seafood, like, barbecue. you can go get, like, yes. shrimp that was caught minutes before you eat it, so all that good stuff. And when you go to the pier out on St. Salmon's, most weekends, they actually have a band out there at one of the restaurants, and you can hear from the pier, and you'll, you really have a good time. What are some of the support services provided to students to make sure they're successful in the classroom? So one that I use is called TRIO. It's a nationally, it's a nationally funded um, program and basically um, they take you from the beginning to end in college and they help you um, succeed in the classroom. They do tutoring. They also do um, like if you need a laptop, they will lend you a laptop or different um, different things that you might need for your classes. Like if you need like a $120 calculator, like they'll lend you one to use for the semester. And you only need, you, you only need to qualify for one out of the three um, qualifications, which is low income, a um, documented disability, or if you have if you're a first generation student. A first generation student is someone who neither parents went to college and got a bachelor's degree or if you say you lived with one parent and maybe the other parent you didn't live with has a bachelor's degree, you are still um, considered first generation because they did not take care of you. And TRIO is personally my favorite on campus. Great support. So last question is, what, some, what are some of the academic programs that College of Coastal Georgia is known for? Awesome. So there's a few on here. So because yes. of our proximity to a lot of really cool places on here, criminal justice is a really popular one. We have the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center that's a couple miles down the road. So it's really beneficial. So we have a great relationship with that establishment and our criminal justice program. And so some of the professors come from there and teach here. Some of our students get to intern over there. So it's really great if you're looking into that field. Um, hospitality and tourism is really good as well and so we have a lot of resorts yeah. and culinary options um, due to our like closest to Sea Island and St. Simons and Jekyll and so there's like uh, convention centers and hotels there. Yeah. Am I missing one more? Covered. I, I, Am I missing one more? Coastal Ecology. Coastal Ecology. So College of Coastal Georgia, you know, the name is 
right there. Uh, we are really close to the beach, and so if you were interested in that as well, you know, we've had some students who get to intern with like um, our sea turtle center that's on Jekyll Island and things like that, and really go out to like you know get dirty and muddy and <laughs> all that right, stuff. Right, you know? I'm right. not. That's not my thing, but you know. And also, we have a a world-renowned nursing program, right? Exactly. Yes. Awesome. So I think if there are no more questions, we are signing off. Um, and Bree's got one more message for us here. Don't forget to apply for College of Coastal Georgia until August 1st. We are doing free applications online. And it's for the from now until August 5th. So it's very important to apply and save about $30 for application fees. How much is it? $30. And when is it again? Until when? Until August 5th. Okay. Bye, y'all. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You See ya.